Guys and gals, Mr. Zabisco, please. When was the last time you found the silver lining in a bad situation, good sir? All human beings, we're, we're beings, we're not animals. We're all inherently psychic. Living in the time we are, the Iron Age is very dense, so we really can't get into the power we have. But one thing happened to me, I'll share with everybody because I get goosebumps every time I think about it. My mother died young. She was like maybe 52. You know, her kids were gone, but she got MS. It took a year and a half to die. It was really sad. My grandmother and my mother were, were kind of psychic. It was weird. But I, I, I had a girlfriend named Kathy. And when I went to see mom in the hospital, she already met Kathy before, but she was on her deathbed. And she said to me, you and Kathy are going to get married and have a son named Bob. I was a couple years later on the road wrestling. I get into a hotel. I lay in bed and I put a movie on the television set I'm watching. I call home, see how Kathy and baby, you know, John, who's like two years old now, how they're doing. Everything's great. And then Kathy says to me, Larry, I'm pregnant. And I went, oh my God, we did not plan on this. You know, we know about the bad blood mixing situation. And the thing is, the thing that gets me is what the prophecy my mother knew, because we're all eternal beings. The movie I was watching when my wife called and said she was pregnant again, and it lucked out because the baby hit her blood type. So he was born perfectly healthy and all that was great. But the movie I was watching was a movie starring Bill Murray called What About Bob? After the prophecy my mother says from years before, we're going to get married and have a son named Bob. So after all that, we named him Bob because we weren't going to have any more babies. But, it, I mean, it's just something that is, is completely, you know, ESP psychic. My mother saw the future on her deathbed, and uh, it was amazing, and the whole thing. But I was watching the movie, What About Bob, when I got that call. Uh, Mr. Zab Judah, what random act of kindness in your life have you experienced that has stuck with you all these years, good sir? One of the uh, acts of kindness that I've uh, experienced that really stick out to me, and, and you know, I always, uh, well, I share this story with a few people, and um, it's very touching and dear to me. I was, um, you know, you know, back in my championship days, I was in New York City and I was, uh, you know, just, just giving back, you know, because I'm always, you know, doing give back Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, you know, you know, all, all type of holidays. And this one particular year, I think it had to be like about uh, maybe 1996. I met this guy in New York City that I was, uh, he was homeless. His name was uh, Stanley Greenwood. And, um, you know, we was down there, we gave him some food, we gave him some water and everything like that. And he kept telling me about how he wanted to box. And I was like, okay, cool, you know, just not knowing. I gave him my number, I said, come to the gym. He came to the gym maybe two weeks later. And long story short, Mr. Mr. Greenwood became Golden Glove champion. He turned professional. He made some money, got his life together, and he moved on. From that, you know, I have three sons and I teach my sons now, you know, now we live here in California and, and, and we go, we go down to Skid Row and we feed the homeless and we, and we, uh, you know, you know, take care of them. And we ran into another gentleman, this is years later with my sons. And now he, this, this, this young man is, 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 is on the same road that Mr. Green World was on. So, so like, like I, like I always tell people, you never know who you can aspire or who you can touch by just going out there and trying. So, so, so that's one of my acts of kindness and giving back that, I, that that's always there and tucked into my heart. You know, it was a guy from New York city that, you know, I, I was out there just, 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 just being me, just doing me. But I didn't know that what, what I was doing would, would, would allow him to come into my world and become a real boxing champion. Sure enough, you know, I teach my son the same thing. We met another young gentleman that looks and seems like 
he could possibly one day have a bright career and a bright future the same way. That is, that is one hell of a story. Wow. Um, it's real. It's true. Helping helping someone out, and again, being able to pay it forward, which I love. Being able to pay it forward, but the hard part is being able to convince yourself to look back and pat yourself on said back and say, hey, I played a part in this. And I'm not saying that that should uh, be uh, in a place of ego, but man, whenever you feel down, man, think about that because you inspired someone to be the best they could be. There's nothing. And that's why I teach my, and that's why I teach my sons to do the same thing because you know what I'm saying I'm like pass that on. You know maybe one day they'll pass that on to their children, and their children will go out there and do the same thing. You know each one teach one and help. Sure. Thank you so much, guys and gals and pals, for enjoying this video and watching it. If you love the content, if you're enjoying it, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you know that we know that the new network is on the rise. Thank you for being who you are.